Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve this distance problem. So I'm going to kind of read this out loud, see where it goes. Uh, it says, Daryl left the White House and traveled toward the ferry office at an average speed of 25 miles per hour. Sometime, sometime later, Jacob left traveling in the opposite direction with an average speed of 35 miles per hour. After Daryl had traveled for four hours, they were 170 miles apart. How long did Jacob travel? So here comes the big question. What do we do? Where do we start, right? Well, I still think this is gonna be a distance problem. And the reason why I know this is a distance problem is because we're gonna be dealing with distance, rate, and time. And whenever you're, whenever you're reading a problem and you see you know, distance, rate, and time, we automatically want to write in our formula that distance equals rate times time. All right. Now the next thing we need to do whenever we deal with the word problem is we need to figure out what is it our unknown. What is it we want to figure out? So we want to figure out how long did Jacob travel. All right. So we need to figure out the distance that Jacob traveled. Now, automatically some of you might think, well, what about this 170 miles? Well, 170 miles isn't just what Jacob traveled. That's what Jacob traveled. That's how far away they were apart. So we need to figure out how far Jacob traveled and how far Daryl traveled. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of set up two separate equations here. I'm going to set up Daryl and I'm going to set up Jacob. And for both of them, I'm going to set up a distance, a rate, and a time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of um, put in the information that we know of for each one of them. So. For Daryl, the distance, we don't know what his distance traveled. So I'm just going to write G. I don't know how far Daryl traveled. Nor do I know how far Jacob traveled. So I'll put a D there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the rate for Daryl was 25 miles per hour. And the rate for Jacob was 35 miles per hour. Now, it says after daily travel for four hours, they are 170 miles per hour. So we don't know how far Jacob traveled. We say after four miles, they were um, 170 miles apart. So what I can do is automatically for Daryl, I have an equation. I have distance equals uh, rate times time. Where, did, where my rate is 25 miles per hour and my four is my time for four hours. So I can multiply there, and I can say in four hours, Daryl traveled 100 miles. So now I know that Daryl, his D is going to equal 100 miles. However, what we need to figure out is we need to figure out what Jacob traveled. So what I'm going to do is when I'm looking at this, well, I say, all right, if Daryl traveled 100 miles, and he said they're 100 miles apart, then how much more farther did was... Um, how much more far did Jacob have to travel? I'm sorry. How long did Jacob travel? We need to figure out the time, right? We need to, not how far, we need to figure out how long. So you got to make sure you read your question very carefully. So I, I read that wrong. But we still need to figure out how far Jacob traveled. Well, if Daryl traveled 100 and they're 170 miles apart, I can do 170 minus 100 equals 70. So therefore, now I know that Jacob traveled a total of 70 miles, but we need to figure out what his time is. We don't know how long Jacob traveled, so I'm going to leave that as t. Now again, using my equation, I could say 70 equals 35t, right? Now, to figure out the time that Jacob traveled, I will divide by 35 on both sides, and what I get is 2 equals t. That means Jacob traveled for two hours. And that is how you solve a basic distance and rate problem.